And so owning your authentic power is really just being able to direct your focus. Directing your focus directs your whole freaking life. I'm going to say that again. When you can direct your focus, you can then direct your entire life. Welcome to the Badass Manifester Podcast, keeping you inspired with high vibe content, bringing you the best manifestation and mindset tools, teachings, interviews, and answering questions to help empower you to get out of your own way and take massive action to make magic your everyday normal. I'm your host, Ashley Gordon, spiritual life and manifestation coach, helping women and spiritual entrepreneurs manifest more impact, influence, and income. It is my purpose and pleasure to help you wake up to the badass creator that you are. Let's do this. What is going on, badass manifestors? I am so excited for today's episode. I haven't been solo in a couple weeks and I miss you. I get such good feedback from these solo episodes and I just love, love, love hearing from you guys on Instagram and leaving beautiful, amazing reviews in the podcast on iTunes. It just literally makes my soul freaking explode. So thank you so, so much. And of course, we have to highlight a review that we received on iTunes. And I just truly thank you from the bottom of my heart for leaving these reviews. So this review is from H V. FGBBJJ. I think that they just kind of scribbled their name here, but whoever you are, you wrote very awesome five stars, new to this podcast, but it speaks to my soul. Glad I found it heart. Thank you so, so, so much because that is literally my intention is that it speaks to your soul. That's all I want. That's all I could ask for. That's really fulfilling my purpose. So Thank you. And then another review from Butterfly Girl 88 Love the podcast. Five stars. I just came across this podcast and I'm loving it. Thanks for sharing your light. Butterfly Girl, thank you. So I'm so happy to feature you guys of the week. If I featured you, tag me on Instagram. And if you want to be featured, obviously I will feature you. Just go ahead and leave a five-star review. Make sure that you're subscribed to the podcast too. Leave like whatever words you have. It can be short and sweet. And I can't wait to shout you out on the podcast because why the heck not? So as we jump into today's episode, today's episode is all about cultivating a badass manifestor mindset and how to cultivate that and what is stopping you from creating and cultivating and living in this badass manifestor mindset every single day. So without further ado, we're jumping in. Let's go. I posted on Instagram this week a a quote type post and one side of it said badass manifestor mindset and versus lack belief mindset and something that I'm really present to right now is these words it's five words okay take your power back babe take your power back babe that's something that I've been saying to myself For the last week, because last weekend I went to a concert and the tour of the concert was called Take Your Power Back. And it was um, NACO Medicine for the People. I I love, love, love NACO. Shout out NACO. Um, But it's true. It's like when we are in a lack belief mindset, we're literally giving all of our power away. And so I want to ask you, are you, which side are you on? Do you find yourself more focused on what's wrong? Do you find yourself more focused on what you think is wrong with you? Do you find yourself more focused on thinking that you're manifesting wrong? Or like, where the F is my million dollars, brah, right? Or like, I've manifested for five minutes. This isn't working for me. I'm not seeing the results. Are you more focused on good things happen to everybody else? Or or even the fact that you don't see the evidence, which we're going to get into later in this episode as well. And so that is the complete opposite of a badass manifester mindset. And a badass manifester mindset says, I am, a, I am a magnetic being of abundance. A badass manifester mindset is, if not me, then who, right? Hell yes. People love to pay me for my work in the world. If she can do it, I can do it. I trust the process of creation and let go to receive. 
That is my definition of like a glimpse of a badass manifester mindset. And it's really important for you to know where you stand on that scale. Where are you more more of the time? And if you if you don't know where you are, then this is the first place for you to start is to actually realize where the freak your focus is. Because where your focus goes, all your energy flows, where all of your energy flows, that's what's manifesting. That's what's coming back to you. So it's super, super important for you to get clarity around where your focus is the majority of the time. And first so knowing that is going to take you to the next level, which is a deeper awareness. So everything gets created from a deeper awareness, right? So with that being said, you know, for, for me personally, I'll just share that the moment um, I realized that I had these subconscious thoughts and of this lack mindset, I realized that I had this core question that I always asked myself. And this lack belief mindset comes from my old mindset, obviously, right? I'm just sharing my own experience and my own expertise. And so the question that I always would ask myself is what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? I don't know how to do this. What's wrong with me? I can't do that. What's wrong with me? Maybe you can relate. If you can, let me know. And it was it was a tape that was playing so far in the background that it wasn't present. And it wasn't until I became aware of it that I started to actually hear myself saying it. And guess what happens when you hear yourself asking these questions? Your subconscious mind, it only wants to give you the answer all the time. And so does the universe. Your subconscious mind is always saying yes, and so is the universe. And so when you're you're asking these questions to yourself on autopilot, and then you become aware of it, guess what happens? Your subconscious mind starts to look for the answer. So when I would say, what's wrong with me? I would start to answer that question. And I would start to come up with things that were wrong with me. And imagine what that could manifest. That could manifest a slew of things, right? And so, you know, number one, I was being really hard on myself. And number two, that question literally gave all my power away. And so I started to trick my subconscious mind when I started getting really serious about my own personal development and really retraining my mindset. I started asking myself, what's right with me? I started disrupting the thought of what's wrong with me because it wasn't subconscious anymore. And I started asking myself, what's right with me? And you might have a different core question. You might have another question of like, you know, why me? Or um, why am I not good enough? Or I I don't know. There's so many. There's really so many questions. And the way that you can start to cultivate a badass manifester mindset is to ask yourself the opposite of that question and start to question your questions. And when you start to question your questions, you actually start to develop a new way of thinking and a new way of answering yourself because our subconscious mind always wants to give us the answer. So when I now ask myself, what's right with me? I find those answers too, right? Like I ate a really healthy lunch. I feel healthy. I feel nourished. I'm, you know, showing up powerfully. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And I start to validate myself. And that starts to retrain your brain as well. And that starts to retrain your energy. And immediately, it puts me back into my power. It starts to shift my focus of what's wrong to what's right. And that, my friends, is a way to level up your vibration. And here's the thing. The good news is, is that these are just words. And these words are just letting you know where your attention and focus is. So they're a good thing. And so owning your authentic power is really just being able to direct your focus. Directing your focus directs your whole freaking life. I'm going to say that again. When you can direct your focus, you can then direct your entire life. And this shows up, this showed up a lot for me when I started my business. So maybe not when I first started my business. When I first started my business, I'll quote Jen Casey. She will say like when you're a new entrepreneur and you're just going at it, you're in your mission, you're just flying high. Your ignorance on fire. I didn't have a reason to feel, you know, what was wrong with me because I was just going for it. I went for it. I went for it. I went for it until I realized like, oh, I don't actually know as much as I thought I did. And then I'm like, well, what's wrong with me? 
right? And then I start to question myself and it gets really loud, especially if you're an entrepreneur. Those internal voices can be overpowering. And that's why your mindset is the most important thing when it comes to not just creating your life, but creating your business. You can do all the strategy, but if you honestly feel deep down that you're not good enough or you're not doing it right or you're not worthy of receiving all the abundance that's available to you, I mean, come on, it's not it's not going to pan out the way that you want. It's just not. So that is um, something I really feel feel passionate about sharing because I know, take it from me, you can cultivate any mindset that you want. So why not cultivate one that actually works for you in the best way possible? Why not cultivate one that actually is benefiting you and getting you more of what you want to create instead of what you don't want to create? And so, you know, it's that's the first step, right? And then something else that came to me the other day that I posted today is that the only evidence that you need in your reality of like whether or not you're manifesting correctly because another thing with cultivating a badass manifester mindset is not doubting whether or not you're doing it right, okay? This was another huge one for me. Am I doing this business right? Am I teaching yoga right? Am I, am I being a friend right? Am I doing the right things, right? It's like constantly questioning myself in my head. And so something that feels so true is that the only evidence you need is truly in the way that you feel. Everyone's looking for the evidence outside of themselves. Everyone is like, okay, where's my manifestation? I've been doing this work. I don't see it. I mean, I hear this more than I hear it the other way around. And it's like, well, I just, how can I believe it if I just don't have the evidence? How can I believe it if I just don't have the evidence? And if this is you, I'm calling you out. It's okay. We've all been there. And here's the thing. The secret sauce for manifesting all, it all is when I'm, when I'm practicing my woo-woo manifestation, when I'm setting my intentions, when I'm meditating, when I'm tuning into my soul, I don't need any evidence. Like, I really don't because I have literally everything I need within myself and it's being cultivated within myself. It is literally a natural law of the universe. Like, there is no way around it. Like, when you cultivate that within yourself, it's going to show up. It's going to show up in your external reality. And it's going to show up faster when it happens from your heart and getting out of your head of, like, thinking it into being. You, yes, thoughts become things, right? You think. You think, you think, you think. But when you put those desires into your heart and you literally emanate that energy from your heart space, whew, that is the evidence. When you can feel it in your heart, when I can feel that desire manifesting right here in my heart, I know without a shadow of a doubt that it's going to manifest. So the secret sauce is not when we, like, when we complain that we're doing all the manifestation practices and tips but we don't see the external results we're literally pushing the creation out further into the non-existent future. And I say non-existent future is because time isn't even relevant. You can collapse time in a, mo- in, a, in a second. And it happens when you're not thinking about it. You can't collapse time by thinking about it. You have to be in the full expression of your beingness and of your desires in your heart. And know that the only evidence that you need is in the way that you feel about your desires when you're manifesting them from your heart. The secret resides in focusing on how you feel, right? And letting how you feel be your guide for what you'll, it's inevitable that you'll, that you will attract it. So can you let go of the external results and focus on the true wealth, like the true wealth that resides within you? I know that you can. Because you're a badass manifester. And I know that you can. So this has been my practice. And I've been doing this the last few days. Like I've been getting into my woo-woo-ness. And, you know, I ebb and flow in the woo-woo vibes, right? But what I will say is that this morning I woke up to a completely unexpected $746 referral commission check from Transform Destiny where I get my um, NLP certification from. And I'll link that up for you guys if you're curious about NLP because they're very, very generous as well. 
with referral commissions. Um, I woke up to a $746 commission out of nowhere. And I know it's because yesterday I was sitting in my heart space focusing on all the love and abundance that I already have and I know that's coming to me. Boom, $746, right? And it just feels so much more rewarding when you let go of the evidence, like the external need for the evidence, and feel it, feel it in your heart. Feel how you feel. And then the flip side of that is, you know, the only evidence you, evidence you need is in how you feel is noticing when you don't feel good. Noticing when you are putting out desires and you're getting frustrated that they're not happening. The frustration is evidence that it's not happening. That frustration is cultivated first within you. It's like you felt that. It's like what came first, the chicken or the egg? The lack of evidence or the feeling of frustration? But the truth is, is that it always comes in here first. Everything on the outside is a reflection of the inside. I can never say that enough. I've said that, I don't know, maybe in every solo episode, maybe not. But it's true. It's true. Everything on the outside is a reflection of the inside. Your, your external world is like, hey girl, this is what you look like on the inside. Okay? And that's not to scare you. It's to empower you to know that you have control. And the only control you need is the vibrational control that you have within yourself. And when you tell yourself that, like, I don't need external control. All I need is vibrational control. That's how you cultivate and create a badass manifestor mindset. Because you are taking motherfucking responsibility for your life, for your thoughts, for your feelings, and for everything that's showing up for you. And that's what makes you a difference maker, my friends. That's what makes you a difference maker. And if you have an online business, it will it will translate into being a money maker too. Difference and money maker, baby. That's it. That is it. So that is what I wanted to share with you guys. I hope that you have a beautiful Wednesday. I'm sending you all of my love. If you have any questions about this topic, this episode, definitely drop them into the Facebook group. A freaking man. Yes. Awesome. And I just also want to say that my team and I have come up with the ultimate way to close out this year. And I'm so excited for what we came came up with. And so I'll just hint to you, it's going to be a bundle. It's going to be the ultimate manifestation bundle. And it's going to be filled with amazing stuff at an insanely amazing price. And we will be doing a a really beautiful way to give back because this year has been literally the most abundant year of my life. And I want to give back as much as possible. So I'll be giving back to all of you. And I can't wait to share how that will be brought out and rolled out. So stay tuned for that. And something else I want to share with you is I've created a mastermind called Manifesting Max Impact Mastermind. And it is for online coaches who want to start, grow, and scale their online businesses. So whether you're in any of those phases, this mastermind could be for you. It is really to help you lay the most solid foundation ever to grow your business exponentially. The mastermind is a mixture between high-level manifestation and strategy implementation. And having both of those has changed my business and made my business what it is today and growing at the rate that it's growing today. So if you're ready to jump into 2020 and 10x everything that you're creating right now in your business, I want you to email me hello at manifestwithash.com and say, I'm in. We're taking early enrollments and kicking this off in the beginning of the new year. And if you're ready to finally create the business that you want and not DIY it, I want you to email me right now. Let's freaking go. LFG, LFG. I just learned that word, by the way. (laughs) All right, y'all. Have an amazing day. I love you, love you, love you. Thank you so much for listening to the Badass Manifestor podcast. I love manifesting Mondays with you. And there's so much more in store right here. The best way to manifest love is to give love. 
If you loved what you heard today, subscribe to the Badass Manifestor podcast. Leave a review on iTunes. Let me know how much you dig the energy here. All of my social is linked up in the show notes. So screenshot this episode, tag me on Instagram, and let me be part of your real-time journey. For more info on me, feel free to go to my website, manifestwithash.com. Repeat after me. I am my own power source. I am the master of my energy, and I deserve everything that I desire. Go get them.